Here's what it means when your ex says, I can't give you what you need. Hey, I'm Coach Benny, and I help people get their exes back. And if you've heard, I can't give you what you need at the time of the breakup or even earlier in the relationship, if you had an earlier breakup or if they had an emotional breakdown and said something like that to you earlier on, what's happening is that your ex is noticing the effort level that you're putting in versus the effort level that they're putting in and they can feel the disparity and they can feel your discontent. They see you texting more, they see you asking for more communication, uh, more quality time spent, et cetera. And they're feeling unable to meet your needs. Now you might think that's crazy because you're like, look, I've barely seen this person over the last two weeks or whatever. You know, they're always spending time with their friends and family. They're doing all this stuff and they're working all the time. They don't really make time for me. They're not, they're not really communicating. How can they be feeling bad about what they're not doing because they're barely doing anything? And it might, may sound crazy, but what they are doing is like the last few drops out of their cup because they spread themselves really thin by not knowing how to set boundaries or state their needs within the relationships, whether it's with you, with work, with family, with school, whatever, okay? And they're just stretched to the absolute limit and they came up kind of in this way where their needs didn't matter, their emotions didn't matter, but that of their parents did, you know, and this is how they were conditioned coming up into adulthood. Your ex that says that they can't give you what you need, you might notice that they might have said that nobody's ever treated like this, uh, uh, them like this before. And what they're saying is not just, not just other exes haven't treated them as good as you have, even their parents haven't treated them that well. So the love they're experiencing with you is completely alien to them and sometimes overwhelming, okay? So when you're seeing that they're barely putting anything in, understand that barely anything has been put into them as a little kid. It's pretty damn heartbreaking if you think about it. So rather than to get angry at them breaking up with you and saying something like, I can't give you what you need, which is gonna be fighting, which is something that they're extremely scared of, um, dismissive avoidance, uh, which is what we're talking about here, the dismissive avoidant attachment style, they're extremely conflict avoidant. And so if you get mad at them saying, you know, you can't give me what you what I need, like you have barely given me anything, you're, you're raking them over the coals, that's just going to freak them out even more because they're already stretched to their absolute limit and they're just going to run away from you. So, you know, thinking about it this way, knowing what you know now by, after watching this video, it can give you a little bit more grace when you're dealing with them because the last thing you want to do is scare them off even more. You can reattract the dismissal avoid it, but it's going to involve kind of tiptoeing, you know, a little bit around, you're beating around the bushes, okay? Um, you know, because you're dealing with somebody that's wounded. So if you want a game plan to get your ex back that told you they can't give you what you need, click into my profile, click this link, set up a call with me and tell me your story and I'll give you a step-by-step -step plan to get your ex back.